welcome to our 22-foot growing dome in January in the Rocky Mountains, 21st of January. And we've still got quite a lot of uh, growth here, a variety of plants. We have no heater whatsoever this year. Last year we decided to heat it, this year we didn't. And everything's just chugging along really well. We've got broccoli, we've got different types of greens. Uh, the arugula is doing magnificently this year. And just to give you a little snapshot of what it looks like outside, this is uh, typical Colorado winter scenery. We also have a wonderful kale plant. This is our kale tree, and it's been going for two years. You want to look at the stem here and see how that's going. And, and look at uh, these guys. Everything's starting to come along, and we've got different types of kale. Over here, we've got some some leeks and herbs, we've got sage, and then we've got a magnificent rosemary bush. The herbs love it in here in the winter, and here's some thyme. I wish I could uh, have you smell this, but we haven't got to that level of videos yet. So here's some, some more herbs. This is dill, it's just doing really, really well, followed by some marjoram. Isn't that a beautiful little bush? And here we've got the turnip doing real well, um, Swiss chard, and I uh, pride and joy the uh, artichoke. We got lots of lovely artichokes last year, and we're expecting a bumper crop this year. So, winter in the growing dome in the Rocky Mountains. So for those of you who've been following this gardening series, these are the winter greens that we started the seeds in September, very wisely. And now they're a fully established crop. We can pick leaves and we get a really good salad of the, from this area. So it's very exciting. It's come along real well. This is a, a tiny little broccoli, not, not doing very well. But what we notice is that if we cut off the broccoli floret, actually the main broccoli plant is already gone, the main broccoli head. But now it's putting out these minute little florets, and we keep cutting those, and they keep coming back. And so we can keep harvesting the same broccoli for a couple of months. Uh, here's our fig tree back here that's just got the last of last year's figs. But uh, this is going to provide wonderful figs again in the next season. And also the leaves shade the western sun, so the late afternoon sun get shaded, and this is why we planted the fig on the west side. And here's just a couple of words about grape. This is a, a grape vine, and we just prune this. And what we do is the last year's growth, we cut back about three flowering sh shoots. Each of these is going to produce a new flower and a bunch of grapes next year. So we cut them back and just cut off all the extra long growth from this year. So that's the main principle of how we prune a grape. 